heads up um, that I was coming on today, but it is Wednesday. I missed um, last Wednesday because I was out of town, uh, but I'm back now, and I don't have any plans to go out of town anytime until the convention later on this summer. So I'm just trying to get rid of the little pop-up that just came up. Whoop. Hang on, hang on. Ah, all sorts of things going. Hi, Lena. Hi, Joanna. How are you? Um, so my name is Margie Donaldson. Hi, Ashley. Um, I am a Honor Society top seller as well as a bronze leader here with Avon. And um, I was going to say, I, I'm not going to be going out of town until convention, which is in, what, late July. So I should be here pretty much every Wednesday from now until then. Um, I just started on Sunday. I just started the Smile Direct Club. And so I have these, these um, I don't know, uh, what are they called? Aligners in my mouth. So I'm hoping that I don't sound too kind of funny, but it's it's something to get used to, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to talk about the explosive growth that we have right now going on with Avon, as well as um, where we're at with the campaign. So I'm going to start with the campaigns first and then switch over to the explosive growth. We are in campaign six right now. Campaign six closes on March 3rd, next Tuesday, March 3rd. But here's a tip. Hi, Cecilia. And we have Jessica on. Hi, guys. So um, here is a tip for all of you that are new or that have experienced um, not being able to get products. And this is not nothing new for all of you seasoned uh, veterans on the team but what i'm going to say about the fact that the campaign closes on tuesday march 3rd is do not wait until then to place your order lately because of the explosive growth that avon is experiencing they are running out of brochures so we all know that we can run our businesses without our brochures because we have the ability to email and text our, um, our virtual brochure to our, our customers. Um, customers, you can post on social media. So we all know that, right? But for those that are new and they're just out now kind of getting used to it, they're going to look at the fact that the campaign closes on March 3rd. Hi, Carla, how are you? Um, they're going to think that it closes on March 3rd. Then they place their order. Maybe they're not ordering the books for campaign eight as we should in campaign six. And then when they go to place their orders in campaign seven, guess what? Campaign eight is already gone. So I'm going to say again on my soapbox, place your order early in the campaign. Just because the campaign runs until March 3rd does not mean that you can't work your businesses by saying, okay, my orders are due on the first Wednesday of the campaign. So if that was the case, you would have placed it back on February 19th. I placed my order from my cruise ship that I was on. I placed my order on Thursday, February 20th. Yes, I did. Um, thankfully, we were in the country, even though we were in Hawaii, and we had good enough cell service. Um, I'm gonna say the Wi-Fi on the ship really was not good. So most of the time we were popping off the Wi-Fi because we couldn't get anywhere with that. Um, but I didn't get any kind of notification saying that I have exceeded my data. So I guess I was okay. Anyway, I did place my order when I was on vacation because I wanted to make sure that I 
got or am getting my campaign eight books. In fact, my order was just uh, dropped off like at 501. And I thought, I'm already late. I can't wait. I, I can't have you all wait for me. Go out and get my order, bring it back in, because then I would be really late. So anyway, I know that my campaign eight books are sitting on my doorstep right now. So we all want to make sure that we are in the habit of placing our orders early in the campaign. Tell your customers, because they, they don't have this. They don't know that this is how Avon works, that we have a two-week campaign system and these are our dates and that kind of thing. You give them your campaign dates. So your campaign six wraps up on um, February 20th, in my case. Or if you want to place it on that first Friday of the campaign, you know, whatever it happens to be. I'm going to say it again and again and again. Place your orders early in the campaign and make sure that you are ordering your books two campaigns out. Okay? All right. So, yes, we do have huge explosive growth right now. Ashley Mudd is a super rock star because she was able to promote to Bronze Ambassador from zero recruits to Bronze Ambassador in one campaign because she is using the power of the fact that we have the free signups right now. She has multiple generations going. She is... Um, She's posted pictures on Facebook showing what she's sending out to her representatives. She is on top of her game. All of us can do this. Some of you haven't placed, haven't, um, I'm sorry, haven't recruited your first person yet. But I'm telling you, if you, um, I don't have it in front of me. It's in my car because I keep meaning to go over and get copies made. There are quarter sheet flyers that you can find in Avon Social. Go in there, print those out. Just start giving them out to anybody, everybody. Make sure that your online store is on there, that they know that we only have until March 31st. This is a limited time only opportunity. This month is already flying by. We've only got three more days in February, and then we've got 31 days of March. So just because you haven't started recruiting yet, or you haven't had too many recruits come on for this incentive, doesn't mean that there's not any time left. So there is plenty of time, but you don't want to sit on it. You want to act and get those emails out, get those text messages out, call your friends, Share those those quarter sheet flyers anywhere, everywhere that you go. Put them into your brochures for your customers because you never know. Maybe your customer wants to sign up or maybe they know somebody out of town, out of the state that wants to sign up and just hasn't had that opportunity. Well, now is the time. OK, so with explosive growth comes um, the fact that brochures do sell out, so we want to make sure that we're on top of the game there. But especially in the case that if maybe you're not, you haven't recruited before, you need to have a plan for how to um, how to onboard your new representatives, how to um, keep them engaged in the business. And there, there's a blog that I found that I think I have referred to before. I'm not sure. But it's put out by Lynn Huber, and her Facebook group is called Online Beauty Biz. And she has a system to help you get your new representative started. Now, I had a system back when we had Kickstart. But we don't have Kickstart anymore, so I'm having to start all over myself with coming up with a system. I find that when I have a system and I'm held accountable to that system, so for instance, I have a spreadsheet. Ugh, it's sitting underneath my laptop right now. I'm trying to get up just one page. So I do have a spreadsheet 
and it's got name, address, email, phone across the top, and then what campaign they start in so you know. And what campaign they start in does not mean that that's when they're really going to start. Some of them jump the gun and they're off selling already. I ran across uh, one one rep today um, when I was updating my email list so I can get out my newsletter to y'all tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. Um, and she already has several online orders and I don't think she was even scheduled to start yet. So just because that is their start campaign doesn't necessarily mean that that's you know what they have to stick to. I put that in there just so I kind of know, okay, well, you know, the, we're in campaign six. These people signed up in campaign seven. I still have time to talk to them about business and how to how to do everything. Um, I also put down the tax, although with this explosive growth, I have not been able to update my tax form um, for, gosh, almost two full pages here. Um, being out of town kind of, you know, of course, puts everybody behind. Anyway, the next column I have is mail. Did I mail them out a welcome package? Did I email them out anything? Um, I should have a, a slot in here for text. Did I text them out that, you know, the, the first welcome text kind of thing? So that's what she talks about in her blog with um, a system to help your new Avon representative get started. She talks about um, texting them, emailing them, and then sending stuff out in the mail. Um, the other thing I have in here is what their account number is and their district number, especially if I'm not online at the time and they, they call me or they text me, hey, what's my account number? Well, instead of having to look it up in the computer, I can just come to my little spreadsheet here. And then I also have a slot or a, a column for how much did they pay for their initial kit? Are they a free sign-up, which would be zero, or did they actually pay for the $30 kit? And since the new incentive uh, came out, I have had Oh, I have had one person who has um, bought the $30 kit. She is somebody who used to sell. Actually, I think she came on, she never sold, and then she, her account just got lost after a year. But now she's back. She's buying the $30 kit, so we'll see what she can do this time around. Um, but And we have different incentives than we had last time. Of course, we have the Pathway to Premiere, so you want to make sure that you're familiar with that. If you're new, you want to be following all of that um, and don't leave any money behind because you can make bonuses up to $3,000 with this new Pathway to Premiere incentive. We also have the incentive of the uh, Caribbean Cruise. Anybody can do that. It's just based off of sales, so you want to start from, from ground one, ground zero, just start selling your heart out. With that in mind, you want to have a system for how you're going to how you're going to build your clientele, how you're going to service your clientele. There again, I have a spreadsheet. Um, I just ran out of my last spreadsheet, but you can see, I don't want to my customer information there, but you can see I have all of the campaigns, um, pretty much all from a full year across the top. And then I have my customers names and addresses. And if they like to get the outlet, I have like four people that, that really want the outlet when we do have them. Um, I have all of that information in there and then I have it in order of a route so I'm not going from point A to point Z and skipping all my other customers in between I have my spreadsheet put into a, a system 
systematic way of how to get my books to my customers. So when I go up to my customer's house and I give them their books, when I give them their books, I check off, yep, I just gave them campaign six. I just gave them campaign, um, I haven't given out sevens yet. Um, that way I remember, yep, they got books. If it's a new customer, I make sure that I write their information down and then um, ask them if they want to receive brochures on a regular basis or sometimes they're like, no, nope, I'll just go online or no, nope, I'll call you when I need something. We have Jenny on. Hi, Jenny. How are you? So um, the reason why I have the spreadsheet for my customers, well, one of the big reasons is so I don't forget a customer in a campaign. If your customers don't have a text, an email, the social media link with your brochure on there, or the actual physical brochure, they will just kind of forget to order, or they might think that you're not selling anymore, and they'll find somebody else. So when you are regularly servicing your customers, you will be reaping the rewards. I um. I got lots of orders while I was on vacation because, like I said, I usually put my orders in on that first Thursday of the campaign, and which happened to be Valentine's Day. And, you know, I, I got to say, sorry, I've got a um, you know, to boyfriend. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I've got to keep my business intact because if my business isn't kept up with, then I don't have my income and I really kind of need my income. So um, Jenny is my recruit. Well, great. So Lena and Jenny are on together. Awesome. Um, so anyway, I make sure that I don't forget my customers. Now, when, when you're a couple of days away from placing your orders, it's always a good idea to Follow up back with your customers, whether through calling, texting, emailing, and just saying, hey, I'm placing my order. What can I get you this time? So, all right, I want to talk about the fact that we are in campaign six. We can still order from campaign five. You want to be selling already out of campaign seven. And is seven... Uh, let's see. Yes, seven, I believe. Yeah, seven is when it starts to not have demo prices in the what's new. So you can start, I have no problem with this. You can start taking this around with you and pre-selling. And then that way, if you're in campaign five or six and your customer wants something out of seven, you can get it for them right now. Because remember, we can get up to two of each item in the demo. So um, I have a customer that is very interested in the driving loafers. And I want to say those come out. Well, that's what they were called last year was driving loafers. Um, I want to say it comes out in campaign eight. Just running through here really fast. Eight has some clothing. No, no. Yes. So she really is interested in these shoes. So her order is outside the door right now. And when I service her this week, I'll have this with me. And I'll say, okay, what size do you want? What colors do you want? They are $34.99 each pair. So um, that's a really cool way to keep your, your orders going. And in the event that items sell out, you are now going to be on the, um, on the leading edge of getting those products to your customers. And they will appreciate you so much more when they can actually get their orders. One of my customers, I had lots of orders for that cowl neck uh, high-low top. And 
one of my customers ordered it in for campaign six in a medium and a, she's actually a brand new customer medium is sold out so i was like well i don't know this customer i haven't seen her before is she on the low side of medium or is she on the high side of medium so i texted her and i said medium is not available do you want to get the small and she said yes so yay i believe i was able to save that sale which is a 26.99 sale so one thing if, for those that tune in late if you think that i'm talking weird it's because i have aligners in i just started them on sunday and it makes me very thirsty and i can't drink anything but clear like um water or sparkling water that doesn't have any sugar to it so um, my tea habit which i used to drink the big polar pops every single day i am only able to drink one cup of tea in the morning and then i gotta get these things back in so it's crazy but i'm just terribly thirsty all the time so sorry about this anyway okay so campaign eight on the cover of campaign eight we have the new cashmere foundation in my meeting in a box literally this is all that came <coughs> excuse me i got 10 colors of the cashmere foundation and there are oh gosh where did it say there's 30 shades and i got 10. i'm not complaining whatsoever whatsoever but look at all those shades. It's just tons. And they're fun little names like latte and muffin and gingerbread. So this is going to be a challenge. Uh, trying to help our customers. Hi, Di. How are you? Um, trying to help our customers find the right shades for those. Um, the other thing that came in my order is the new peony rose fragrance oh my gosh it smells heavenly so of course i started i popped that bottle right into my carry basket and it will be going everywhere with me for the next couple of months because i want everybody to experience what that smells like it is just unbelievable um it's not as, um, I would say, it's not as strong as um, Prima Noir, not quite as rich as Velvet. It's, and I would say it's even lighter than the old uh, Little Red Dress, but it's got that rose smell to it, and then the peony, which just makes it so bright. Oh, it smells wonderful. So you've got to get that bottle on demo in campaign nine. Make sure that you are carrying it with you everywhere that you go. And actually, we can order out of campaign seven, um, order that demo out of campaign seven. So what I want to know from everybody is what questions do you have that's just been bugging you? What do you need to know that I can help you with? I'm, I'm trying to look at the time here, I'm trying to be very mindful of, of our time. However, I also want to make sure that I am being a service to you and answering the questions that you want to have. Um, of course, we do have the, the group, and if you found this video, you probably know about the group, unless you're watching this in um, from the newsletter uh, from the YouTube link. But anyway, Sail into Beauty Stars, you're, you're more than welcome to post any, anything there that is Avon related. Any questions that you have, um, you're always free to call me, text me, email me. Um, I did take some phone calls when I was on vacation outside of just my orders. So, um, you know, it's just because I go on vacation does not mean that I can't still be of service. And now I'm back for the next 
oh gosh, five, easily five months. So um, let's use me as your mentor and learn from each other and, um, and go from there. So um, I don't see any questions at this time, but I would say our call to action currently is always kind of the same always. Number one, never place your order on the last day of the campaign. You gotta make sure that you put it in there earlier. Order your books two ahead. Take the necessary training and or watch the Avon USA representatives um, videos for how to sell these different products because we just have so many products. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, because like on campaign, cover of campaign six, we have the new belief. And on campaign five, we had the green goddess. Which one do I recommend to my customers? So keeping up with that training is always important. Then growing your customer base. Just this week, I found a, um, a clip from somebody. I, I steal stuff from Facebook all the time. But it was what to do with 100 brochures. Now, if you're new and you think, I can't afford 100 brochures, I'm going to tell you, yes, you can. Because you will make more money, more than enough to cover the cost of those 100 brochures. So, and, and remember, with the free cost opportunity, like I said, print out those little quarter sheet flyers from the Avon Social and um, take those with you everywhere you go so that you're handing people a brochure, you're handing them the information about the opportunity. You can take your books anywhere, everywhere. And that little, it was a black box and it had all sorts of different ways how to um, hand out 100 brochures. I highly recommend that you, um, that you put a system into place, that you grow, make it your, your business to grow your customer base at all times. Uh, grow your customer base, grow your teams, because as Ashley can point out to you, I, I meant to look up what the promotion bonus was. Um, Ashley, did you get $125 bonus? Because what, what Avon does is there's a whole, I want to say it's $500, and then they'll split it into four different payments. Um, for each campaign that you qualify, that you requalify as that title. So as a bronze ambassador, you get the first installment and then next campaign, you make it again, you'll get the second installment. The third campaign, you make it again, you'll get that third installment. Let's say in that fourth campaign, you don't quite make it. That's okay, they give one grace campaign and then let's say that the fourth campaign, oops, the fifth campaign, you made it, you get the rest of that total bonus. And that's how it's done with mentor bonuses as well. So if you have somebody developing under you in your first generation and they title, then you're going to get a mentor bonus, again, split into a fourth of a payment each time. And um, Ashley is under Kathy, and I know Kathy got her first installment of her mentor bonus. So there is so much money to be had with bonuses, uh, promotion bonuses, sponsorship bonuses, um, uh, generation bonuses, which is the sales of your team. So many different bonuses. Plus, if you're brand new and you're already jumping into the recruiting business, you not only will be able to get your um, leadership bonuses, but the pathway to premier bonuses. So there's plenty of opportunity for everybody in this incentive, in this explosive couple of months to make money. Not only do we have the fantastic products, but we have these opportunities with the free cost signups. 
and people who have been thinking about it for five years are now signing up. So don't let anybody um, be forgotten. Make sure that you are going out there, that you are targeting all of your, your contacts for not only orders, but also, hey, it's a free sign up. Do you want to get signed up? Um, this is this is definitely the time. So I believe that's all I'm going to go over today. I don't I didn't have anything else prepared. But like I said, if you have any questions anytime, be sure to let me know. And then if it's something that I see that, oh, yeah, that that would be a really good topic for uh, for the video. I'll include it the next time. Okay, so go out and have a fantastic week. Uh, if you haven't already placed your campaign six order, make sure that you do before next Tuesday. And I will see you next Wednesday, which will be campaign seven. Bye, guys. <laughs>